hello my dear good morning to all of you this video is on industrial relation and collective bargaining this is the part first of industrial relation actually industrial relations has become one of the most delicate of complex problem in the modern industrial administrative system of society industrial progress is impossible without the labor and the management there are the collaboration system uh, with the cooperation and coordination of the labor trade union as well as trade union trade union and management so that it is the interested of the all creation and maintain the good relation between the employees and employer and third part was come enforced by the governance rule and regulation who observe maintain and give a, a parameter a standard of the contribution participation limitations of the power authority system acts and the uh, other required fame so uh, basic feature of industrial relation is uh, maintain the relation between or among the participants means participants main participants employer employer means uh, in the uh, industrial relation in the industrial relation employer have the right to hire and uh, time of workers their power intelligence in the system whatsoever provided by the governance rule and regulation for the contribution of their with reference of the work employer provide him remuneration and the remuneration is the uh, system of the organizational employees according to the rule and they share their things materials and employees means employee in the industry seek to improve the term and condition of their employment they always try to take in the decision making process of management by the system of participation by the participatory process and they can easily fulfill the demand of the grievances they minimize the grievances and conflict among the persons struggle for the betterment of the their life including the organizational and group life and well as the trade union systems and third part is come in force of the governance norm governments play an important role in the industrial relation it protect the interest of the both participants like that the labor and the trade union as well as trade union and the industrial administration means the management government have made the various uh, labor policies for the maintaining the livelihood of the life of laborers workers union members and maintain the degree of cooperation and coordination among the participants including the industrial administrative system for the maximization of productivities and the amicability is in the environment environmental culture environmental involvement organizational involvement so if we analyze the main feature basic feature of industrial relation it includes the both industrial relation as well as the collective relation participatory relations in the organization its outcome of the employment relationship in industry it is both complex and multidimensional complex we and multidimensional it is a dynamic and developing concept bearing the developing concept of the organization implies career development in administration productivity development it maintain the concern with the employee and employee relationship it do not function in the vacuum it main part is directly involved in the industrial relation i will always uh, already say to you employers employees and governance so different types of issues different dimensions 
maintain the industrial relation in the sake of employees and employers objectively we can say the collective bargaining or negotiation both are same manner same systems to promote industrial democracy power of democracy improve the power of democracy rightism to protect the interest of participants participants same employer employees under the governance now the basic objective of collective bargaining is to arrive at the agreement between the agreement as well as the negotiation after the negotiation result of negotiation is known as the agreement in the management or management representative implies implies representatives or trade union leaders whatsoever applicable by the rules by the agreements by the system of the proceeding to foster maintain the cordial and harmonic relation among the participants so this is very important to international uh, labor organization also define the industrial relation according to the industrial relation in the international labor organization inter industrial relation comprise the relationship between the state on the one hand and the employers and employees of organization on the other hand under this relation there are the three parties and all or maintain the the dignity of participatory system so collective bargaining provide a platform for the negotiation among the participants either union versus employer employer representative versus employees representatives unit level organization level or national level or whatever consideration status of the consideration is applicable by the law by the rule second industrial administration gain the better and the deep insight into the problem of participants what happens there so many things is not clarify justify everything is one to the need wants justification means the evidence so it is adjustable to the changing condition relations relations always adjustable it facilitate to speedy implementation of the decision by the direct participation each and everything come enforced by the direct decision by the collective bargaining by the negotiation among the participants they make a decision better decision better understanding this is so types of the collective bargaining there are the types now uh, we can say about the types objectives uh, uh, these are some less and but you can improve different types of objectives collect and different types of definition you also the collect campus students also required the maintain the 5 to 10 definitions and other students if any discussion need to discussion regarding to the definition a structuring of definition anatomy a preparation of the anatomy of the definition and they comment use comment box and i will discuss by phone by uh, system of platform so types of collective bargaining having the four type tetra dimensional formation of the bargaining there are the four types of bargaining number one distributive collective bargaining strength out of the bargaining hang haggling over the distribution of economics kya benefits hain whatever benefits gained by the organization with the participation of the participants means employer and employer what's about gaining better bad null not improving improving try to improving try to better economic issues it covers issues like the wages salary bonus and different types economic benefits and come under the bargaining self interest test group is given everybody implement on the behalf of the system so first one is the distributive bargaining distributive collective bargaining this one is the first second integrative collective bargaining under this type of collective there may be some issues in the organization on which both parties are equally interested are being the benefited 
like that they um, prepare a agreement contribute in the equal for better productivity the better productivity better turnout better quality better environment better return of the economics and better share participations fruitful result of for both parties so first one is the distributive collective bargaining second one is the integrative collective bargaining third attitudinal structuring collective bargaining some writers are having the different names but the under this procedure we are agree to the improve the organizational culture which is the distract or disturb by the attitudes ego and the conflict different ecs under this process shaping the attitudes of participants so for the maintain the organization culture organization work life organization relations organizational environment so it also help the development of the environmental culture and mutual trust mutual interest confidence cooperation coordination confidence respect to each other these things are necessary for the organizational collaborative form of the organizational in place with there with there were no difference in the achievement of the objectives this one is the first one distributive second one integrative third one attitudinal structuring structuring of the behavior structuring of the attitude structuring of the ego according to the requirement of the organizational culture each and every implies again the saving of the organization fourth one is the intra organizational bargaining intra organizational bargaining in this stage of bargaining both parties discuss in general strategical formulation decision consciousness of the betterment of organization better achievement of the organization better implementation of the organization maximization of performance maximization of the result and equality of work life in the establishments so to maximize with the cooperation and coordination of the participants of individual performance team performance department performance organization performance complete performance of the organization so there are the four types of the collective bargaining types hai distributive number 1 integrative number 2 attitudinal structuring bargaining number 3 intra organizational collective bargaining number 4 there are the four collective bargaining so uh, structuring formulation on another things uh, there is no properties uh, mentioned because there are no requirements after that the, the process of the collective bargaining but level structure of collective bargaining how is structurification of the collective bargaining there are also the four types of collective bargaining number 1 unit level suppose that you see you imagine any units then representatives of that unit of management side and representatives of that unit of the worker side worker union side they only discuss to unit level lim, uh, limitation like that rules powers safety security timing working hour condition workplace remuneration entry time exit time any types of water uh, problem light problem they under the power of plant level plant level units requirements fulfillments they discuss they strike they negotiate with the power of system second one the industry level industry level means like that the any industry there is the corporate office here the each and every formulation under the corporate plan policy strategy implementation system corporate system give a, a corporate center of office uh, give a system to the sub unit and sub systems for under this limitation this power uh, people are perform their duties 
the responsibilities there and accountable according to the level of power level of authority responsibility and accountability so in the industry level negotiation between the apex level of management of that organization and apex level of union of that organization only no other organization participate in the frame of the collective bargaining and the negotiation among the industrial level so different as a pension plan decision making procedures policy related strategy related insurance insurance legal formulations each and everything thoughts over the level to discuss from the man apex level management top representatives and third one is the national level means the national level nation association of the these nation association as a banking association of india like that the banking association of the india if banking association of the india at the national level they discuss to the governance representatives regarding to the changing by the constitutional by the regulation by the policies of the governance by the five year policies and different as issues hot over the handle of in the covering in the area of the governance they find out the things and regulations life insurance also union railway federation also union rbi also have the union and the um, last one is the international confederation international level also the who have the regular the international level organizations different continents and different units of the nations so, so these are also the four types now i will be discuss now process of collective bargaining process of collective bargaining how we proceed which types of papers there are two parties or more parties if two parties one is representative by the administration employer and other is the workers union sides so there are minimum two peoples if there are multi unions they select their leaders by the self realization by the self realization and one representative face to the system of administration by the negotiation either any legal practitioner or any economist what's ever decided by the president of the union decided by the but person who represent in the quorum having the legal authority of representation with the recommendation of the competent authorities so uh, first of all we prepare the negotiating team and check their the identity valuation recommendation legal authorities and the powers he have power or not for agreement kyunki last last lastly because we make an agreement for administration with the discussion whatsoever possible is the positive and negatives so make an agreement so a person having the power of agreement or not second one is the preparation of demand next step second step second step is the preparation of demand here member of negotiating team is the consultation with an other employees of the organization prepare their charter of the demands and prepare present in front of the management what's ever necessary and discuss about their positive and negative and other relevant materials for with the evidence third one is the negotiating process after the preparing of the list of demands and the two parties come to a stage of the negotiation generally two types of process adopted by the team number one peace mill negotiation peace system one by one one piece having the such value then 100 piece having the such value limitation of one day of the such value we have first week say fourth night and annually and the monthly there is peace system sorts ever is decided by the piece, per piece even if it is in by the economic system of distribution distribution of economics second one is the total approaches whatsoever apply by the system total effect 
so there are two types either individually p system and divisible system are the total approached by the with the organizational provisions fourth one is the bargaining strategy there is no specific strategy for negotiation of the issues it depends on the situation term condition strength power legalities political views social requirements democratization power of democratization market value and environment including the culture of the organization so many things are participate in the form of the negotiations these are main last one is the preparation of agreement this one is not uh, this one is the fifth stage fifth steps preparation of agreement whatsoever decided by the by party level under the negotiating process is the preparation of agreement the bargaining issues are solved and then put on a paper legal paper the agreement should be signed by the both parties and the communicate to all con members concerned members by the written and by the exposure whatsoever allowed by the organizational system and this one is called settlement within the meaning of section 2p of the industrial dispute act so we start the legal process and and sixth and last step is the administration of agreement the administration of agreement is left to be both management and worker because under section 29 of the industrial dispute act any person who commit breach of any term of settlement term of the settlement is punishable with the imprisonment for a term which may be extended to the 6 month imposition of a fine or both so an important relevant point in the collective bargaining is that it is a continuous process because an agreement before the expiry of the management always try to reject this demands which may be again lead to the negotiation therefore it is say that the collective bargaining is a continuous process so uh, my dear listeners thanks to all of you and please like subscribe and share the videos okay